Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and our user reached out saying, Hey, can you make a broken Captain America shield? I did a little bit of tinkering, so let's get cracking. So, friends, let's start with create new design, and then once we're in there, we're going to build this guy with the tube. When you bring out the tube, we are going to type some parameters. For the first box, I want you to do a radius of 20. We are going to do a wall thickness of 4. We are gonna do 64 sides. This is what makes it look round. We are gonna do a bevel of two. I like to type that number. And we're gonna do bevel segments of 10. This needs to be red, so pick your red. And we're gonna change the height of this one to five. And press enter. So here it gets kind of fun, friends. Uh, we're gonna hit duplicate or control D. We're gonna make that second one white. And then we're gonna take that white one and change its parameters. Instead of 20, we are going to simply change its radius to 17. When you press enter, you can see that it fits inside. I'm going to fit view so we're a little closer to it. And we want to change this height to 5.25 and press enter. We're going to do duplicate on this. This time I'm going to use control D. I'm going to change that new one to the red again. And then we need to change its radius to 13 and press enter. I've also found that we like to make its height 5.5. We're gonna fill in the blue piece with a cylinder. Bring out your cylinder. We're gonna make it totally round. We also need it to be blue. We're gonna use that same bevel of two and the same segments of 10. And then I need you to hold down shift, shrink it a little, and we're gonna type 17.6 and press enter. The height, we then need to change, and I'm gonna click somewhere else and then click it, and we wanna make that 5.5, and press enter. So right there are our lines. Now we need to make it look like a shield. We are gonna do that with a half sphere. When you bring out the half sphere, hold shift, and we wanna stretch one of these sides, and we wanna type 42 and press enter. Then we need to change its height to six. So hopefully you can see that is the shape of a shield. We're gonna make it a hole, and now we need to bring out a cube. I'm gonna hold down shift, and remember how this was 42? We're gonna to go to 50 by typing 50, and then we're gonna change the height because that's silly, we don't need it that high, to just 10. Now I want you to shift click your hole, and shift click the red piece, choose a line, Let's make the red piece the master and choose middle, middle, and let's group it. So you can see that has a nice round shape. We're gonna take that and then turn it into a hole. And friends, when you select the entire thing and do a line, I'm gonna make the blue one the master so it can go to that spot, it just feels more right. Both would have worked. When you hit group, boom, you have just made a Captain America shield. So you're disappointed it's only one color? Watch this. If we hit multicolor, there you are, just the way it's supposed to be. Now you'll notice this blue one isn't quite high enough. Watch this, if we double click, and then we click in on the blue one. So I'm gonna hide this for a moment. I'm gonna take this blue one instead of 5.5, I'm gonna raise it to six and press enter. Now when I click somewhere else, it will recut and bam, that looks just how I expect it. Now we need to do that trick a couple of times. So right now I'm gonna ungroup that. You've seen how the technique works. And we're gonna do Control D to make a second one and set it aside. I'm also going to ungroup that and I'm going to grab that piece that's underneath and I'm gonna use it again. So if I do Control D, I can bring this over so we can cut the underneath. So now when I do Show All, I can group those back together, make them back into a hole. I've got this piece to cut underneath, and this one's gonna be used to trim the star we add in a minute. Real quickly, I want you to see this trick. If we switch to a 0.1 grid, and you nudge this by just the tiniest bit, so I'm doing control down to lower it, watch how it changes our stripes. If I group this, it will actually change the dimensions of these stripes to maybe get them to be just the way you want. 
uh, these layers open up and you can find the exact measurement so that you get those rings exactly the way you were hoping. I'm going to real quickly take this piece and shrink it just a little so I'm holding shift and shrinking and I'm going to 40. I'm going to type that number. I'm going to align them. I'll make the shield the master so there's my center and my center. And then I want to take that piece and lower it down just a little so I'm doing control down arrow. And then when I group those again, now we'll be able to look underneath our shield and you'll see that it is rounded, which is pretty darn sweet. Let's quickly add the star. If you go to the very bottom, there is a star that works pretty good. I'm going to set the work plane on top of the blue. Here's my star. Let's make it white. I'm going to size this by just holding shift and shrinking it till it fits where I want. If you wanted to rotate it a certain way, you could as well. And then when you hold shift and stretch it out, it'll grow in the exact amounts. You can change that height a little so it's flatter if you want. I'm going to do control down arrow to sink it in just one click. Let's do a quick align. Once again, I'm going to hit center and center on the shield. And now I want to trim that so it's flat. So this is where we bring back this other part. I'm going to once again align it. And let's just choose center and center. I want to raise this up just a little bit. So I've got a tenth of a millimeter and I'm doing control up just one tenth, maybe two tenths. And let's group it and see what we made. <laughs> that one cut it a little too thin. But this is what's cool. I can just double click, click on the hole, and I'm going to do control up and just adjust that till I get the style I want. Let's see if this works a little better. When I click outside, it recuts it. And that, my friends, is my Captain America shield. So the request was for a broken Captain America shield, all right? So we are going to do this super quick with Scribble. If you want to make yours more custom, you can use any tool that you have. I am just going to do this because it's quick, it's easy, and it doesn't turn out that bad. So these are just little jagged edges I'm drawing. I'm going to switch to this tool to fill it in. Notice I'm stretching to the left and I'm coming close, making sure that I leave the teeth. It takes me a few times to cover it all, but it's not too bad. The more you practice, the better you get at this. Let's cover that one and that one. Get these two little teeth and these two little teeth. Now, right now, this is kind of blunt. So if I switch to the cutting tool, watch this. I can make little spikes into it so that they're a little more sharp. I find that these are easier ways to make spikes and jagged edges when I'm doing something like this. Do I know the exact way I want it to be? No. If I don't like one, I can undo. You can also refill in your pieces and uh, just make your little sharp edges however you want. So friends, I'm going to call that done. I'm going to turn it into a hole. I'm going to move it where I want. Make sure I stretch it so that it covers everything. Maybe give it a little angle. Let's rotate it this way, just like this. And let's see how our broken shield turns out. Not quite how the real one looks, but you can see the idea. So now you can turn it into something totally amazing. You can see here I quickly cut up a second one. And let's see if this one looks a little cooler. Uh, by doing Control D, I was able to duplicate. So that way I don't have to lose the one I just made. I can quickly keep on adjusting until I find one I like. So friends, once again, I totally appreciate the suggestions. Mr. Dude, this was a great idea and I had a ton of fun. Hopefully you guys also learned some cool skills where you use a part and then turn it into a hole or a mold so that you can cut it out and make shapes have awesome curves. Friends, if you make a better one that you want to share, don't forget if you hit this collaborate, you can generate a link, copy the link, and you can ship it to me. You can find me on HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. You can also find me at HL Tinkercad on Twitter. 
Lastly, you can always visit the website, hlmodtech.com. On all the pages, there is a messaging. You can also check out all the things I'm offering on the Tinkercad tab. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.